What's up, travelers? I am in Florence, Italy. I just got here. Man, I am hungry. It's a little early in the day, so I decided to come to Gusto Leo, which is a pizzeria. I have ordered a Floristagione, which it's a pizza with mozzarella, tomato, ham, anchovies, mushrooms, and olives. So that should be interesting. Can't wait till it gets here. Alright, would you look at this pizza? Yeah, so it's... They kind of chopped it up into four different sections. I guess that's what I should have expected. So it looks like we got some mushrooms here, some black olives here, some ham in here, and some artichokes there. Uh, let's just cut into this thing and see. Enjoy it. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this one with some, some ham and some black olives on it. And drip it all over the place. <laughs> That's so good. This is uh, quite a bit more like the, the pizza you find in Africa in Naples. And then what we had a few days ago. And this place is super busy. I just I just picked one out because it's right next to the the Palace of the Medici's, which I'm planning on going to after I'm done here. I like that it's got these whole black olives instead of chopped up black olives. That's that's unique. That's something you never see in the states. I'm so happy to be back in Florence. I mean, this was my last stop on, on when I was in Italy the last time. And I really only got a day and a half here because my passport and vaccination card have been stolen in, in Naples. The day after I got here, the EU clamped down everything for people who didn't have proof of vaccination. So I had to go home and so I ended up spending like $1,500 on a flight to get home. And then I had to wait for my new passport and my new vaccination card and all that kind of stuff. It was a real pain in my ass. But I vowed then that I was going to come back and I was going to finish Florence and see all the cool stuff that I missed. Alright, so, so this one's got some ham, an artichoke heart, some black olives, and a bunch of mushrooms on it. I didn't really get any of the, the ham in the last one. So I didn't really get to tell you about it, but here we go. Nobody does ham like the Italians. Parma ham is some of the, just the best stuff in the world, I tell you what. Mm. This crust is nice and thin until you get to where you hold it and then it's and it's nice and thick. It's really kind of a work of art. And of course, everything in Florence is a work of art. <laughs> well, let's, let's try one of these artichokes. All by itself here. 
wasn't really like a pickle bar to choke. And that's usually what, what we're used to in the States. So if you get artichoke on a pizza, you get pickled artichokes. But these artichokes are nice and mild and flavorful. And they don't taste bad like the ones you get in the States. Thousand years later. It's good to be making our way down south into this into this country. The food just gets better and better. Like and subscribe if you want to follow us through Florence and down into Rome, and then we're going to Egypt. After that, it's going to be a lot of fun, so like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell if you like uh, traveling food review videos and going and checking out historical landmarks and tourist destinations. My name is Tony, and I am Tasting Travel, and as always, eat great food.